Hello and welcome back to a Highland Song. Welcome back to Moira McKinnon running away and welcome back to... Oh, we need to climb up here. So, last time we came across the lion's back and I think we're fairly close to the end of the game, but I'm not entirely sure. So, uh, we're just going to head backwards. We found a map last time. Can we... Actually see where we are? Uh, okay. It's raining. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's get back down. D down, 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 down. Let's get some breath. Got to be a little bit careful. I think when she's holding on to something, she doesn't actually gain breath back. No. So we've taken a little bit of health damage. That's kind of not great. Uh, smash Y. If I can get... If, if, if I can find shelter, I can get out of the rain before I drown. More up. It's late afternoon, there's one day before Beltane, and we have to book. Uh, I think we already looked at that. So we can come this way. Uh, I think if we go over the top, it's probably going to be easier than trying to go down into the crevasse. Yes. So... How do we do this? This is... Hmm. Okay. Uh, look further. It seems like we could probably go over the top. Oh, do we need to go down? Oh, there's a house down there. All right, let's do this. And try not to straight up die, because we found that, oh, a carving. Another of them Roman numerals, IX. Someone's initials? Irene Xylophone. Sounds like one of my mum's pals. There are more lines carved below, down by the grass. Right, X and M. Okay. What? I don't know where this is. Okie dokie. Oh, interesting. What is this? Is this a safer route? Oh, it does look like a safer route. Okay. Let's go this way then. Let's hoof up over the top. I don't fancy my chances of just diving down across a bunch of shale. Uh, probably should have jumped across there. Like that. Excellent. Oh. Oh, this is definitely a climb up here. Early evening. And hit the button. Early evening. Oh. Patch of blueberries. Delicious. Oh, we got health. Oh, they give you health back. Oh. Okay. Be very careful here. Health is very precious. Right. Um, a carving. Irene Xylophone got here too. IX. She gets about clearly. Okay. Pa. I'm sorry, what? Who said that? Is there someone in the brambles? Or some kind of animal? Pa. Ah. Hmm. Cut the brambles for something. My bronze dagger. I feel like Indiana Jones. Ugh, you're horrible. Pa ah. But there's an opening in the ground here that looks interesting. You look like you're hungry. An ancient lion. What does an ancient lion statue eat? Ancient goat statues? Touch the statue. There's letters carved in. M. I-T-H-R-A But I'm not Indiana Jones. I can of read this. pa -a. Okay. It's going to get dark soon. Into the lion's cave. Uh, I... Ooh. I'm wondering if we just go down. I'm going to go... I'm going to go down. Let me jump up over this, because we don't have much time left, and I really, really want to get to the lighthouse before Beltane. I'm just going to book. 
Just gonna book. Just gonna book. Well, at least the rain stopped. Is there anything down here? Oh, should we have taken? Oh, should we have taken the cave? It's a chain raft. The chain's under the water and probably rusted to ruin. Uh, pull the chain. Seems just about to move. Uncle H lives in a lighthouse, but I'd never been. So I built a model and put a candle in the top some nights. Fancied he could see the light across the hills. Okay, early evening. What's here? Seems like a post. Hmm. Okay. And we're taking a bit of damage as well. We can shelter in the cave mouth. I don't think we're gonna do that. I think what we're gonna do is... Uh, I'm not there. I need to keep exploring. Ah, right. So... No, Queen Morag has a good heart. She's an awful Puritan. She likes her world the way it is and doesn't want anything in it to change. Okay. So I've taken a bit of damage from the weather. There's a thunderstorm a brewing. Um, I'm thinking we can probably make some headway towards the top of this mountain. I'm f oh wait. Oh my gosh, okay. There aren't any paths the next valley near here. Uh, oh my gosh, look at that. How do we get up there then? That seems insane. Okay. Uh, let's climb up. No! Nope. Arse. My ankle. I was trying to go up and hop to the other side. Okay. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. No, no, no. You, you have to let go. I need a break. Okay. Yeah, this is a game not quite hold, uh, holding on to whatever it needs to hold on to. There we go. So I think we need to jump across there. Hmm. Can we jump? Oh, can we jump onto the top of those? Yeah, we can. Okay, cool. And now it's dark, so we need to find a place to shelter. Um, hoping... Oh, I guess if we get to the top and it is fully dark, then we... Oh. We don't get to see where we're going next. I feel weird. Something's making my hair stand on end. Oh, yeah, we need to sleep. Uh, shelter in the cave mouth. Okay, sleep. Does she keep me dry enough? But getting a letter was like Christmas. Dear Uncle H. Hmm, tell me more about Selkies. Now a Selkie, Moira, is the most delightful creature there is. Smart as any woman or man. But it lives in the sea. And they're old. They're always old. One day before Beltane. By the morning, the storm has finally blown itself out. Right, so we got some health back, but we've also lost some health by sheltering on the top of a mountain in the rain. So that's not ideal. Do we have a map for this area? I could pin down a couple of maps from here. I got this one and this one. Uh. Oh. Wait, is that literally? Is that here? Yeah, it's got to be it. The old railway becomes Walker's Paradise. 
There's a little path there, okay? Ah, oh, right. Okay, so that's the little post we saw earlier. We've already done this, which I'm guessing is going to be... This way somewhere. Yeah, we've already pinned this one down. So we just need to get... Oh my gosh. So we have one day to get from here to the lighthouse. Oh, could we just go down the back? Alright. And I don't know where this map is. X. Hmm. No, we're going to go onward because we've got a... The lightning stone? I was thinking this peak was called that. The lightning stone. I'm sure that's it. Right, so, no, look further. We could, I guess, yeah, technically just run across the back, so we don't need that path, maybe? Or we could slide down to it and then take that path. Okay, let's do that. So it is one day before Beltane. And we should, I mean, looks like we might get there in time. Yeah, I'm not taking any chances on the health though. Let's just uh let's just take take it easy. Take it easy. I think it's this way. Oh, at least I hope it's this way. And then Nah. Okay. So we're back to where the boat is. Oh. Okay. Uh take a load off from the cave mouth. No, because we we have a lighthouse to catch. Confirm the map. I'm pretty, pretty sure about it. Yeah, that's it. Get in. Hilltop is called Clan Delanach after all. Uh, take the path. Alright then, another day. Still early morning, which is kind of neat. Uh, right, where are we going? Whoop. There aren't any paths to the next valley here. Oh, hello. Child's toy purse. Take it. There's a folded map inside. Hobson's quickest way to get materials in. Okay. What? That should save me a bit of time. The islands seem empty, Moira, but they weren't always. These valleys are full of echoes. Plenty of ghosts. If you're out by moonlight. There aren't any paths, the next valley here. Okay. Well, I think there are. We just go to the end, don't we? We, uh, boo. I mean, we would have to go all the way, but I, yeah, we can't actually climb up there. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think we can get up there. Hmm. All right. There's a bench there and a deer there. So let's go and investigate the bench, see how far up we can actually go. Can I get up there? Uh, should be able to. <laughs> Come on, can I please get up there? Uh, apparently not. Uh, let's see how far we can get today, shall we? I reckon we can just go to the end. I reckon we can just go to the end. Okay, hey. You're waiting to lead me to him, aren't you?
made it. Theta S. Get in. I'm coming, Hamish. <sighs> okay. Confirm the map. Hi, that said all right. <laughs> yes. Okay, to the lighthouse. I'm nearly there. I always knew I didn't fit in back home. With my mum, with my brother. I always thought, who am I? Never. What am I? Oh, the puffins. Uh, wait through. Here's hoping the tide doesn't come back in. Nearly there? Oh, wait through. Keep your balance now, Moira. I'm there. I'm basically there. Before the lighthouse was built, there's always someone here to light the fires. All right, so I guess we made it before before Beltane. Excellent. Arrived at 8 a.m. one day before Beltane. I'm here. I made it all the way to the sea. Uncle H. Uncle Hamish, are you in there? I Hold your horse. I'm coming. Who's there now? Why, Moira! Moira! By all the bellows, is that you? You made it over here alright. I helped a girl light a beacon. I... I know her. She's up there, oftentimes. Never quits from saving her village, that one. And I caused an avalanche. Did you now? Hope you'll be putting all them rocks back then, young lady. They've been on those hilltops for years. But what matters is you're here now. And you're in good time too. Beltane is tomorrow. Come on, we'll rest up for today. And tomorrow. You'll meet her. Her Hamish? Have you got a girlfriend? I'll make you some scones. I'll follow Hamish inside. I'm coming, Uncle H. These holes are awash with stories, my dam. Let me tell you one. Okay. That'd be nice. Once, there was a lonely fisherman. Did he live in a lighthouse, maybe? Aye, he did. I thought so. And he was dreadful lonely. Just him and his fish. So we decided to marry his neighbour's daughter. Oh, did he now? Aye, he did, but he shouldn't have, because she was a brute. Voice like thunder and arms like pitchforks she had. But her son, uh, he was even worse. I like this story, Hamish. Keep on with it. Aye, and I will if you'd stop interrupting. Oh, you've got a mouth on you, and no mistake. I have. You're the one who wants to tell his stories all day. You should have your own radio programme. Well, now, there's an idea. Beltane? Is here? 
The tide's high, the air is fresh. Sun's up, today's the day. You follow me now. It's so early. Ah, uh, stop your belly aching. You'll be fine, you'll see. Easy for you to say. You're a bloody puffin. Hold up, I'm coming. There, Moira. Look. Look in the water. Seals? Ah, oh, they're so cute! They're anything but, I promise you. Do you see her? She's looking at you. She loves you. Just the way a mother should. Are you saying that's my mother? That thing in the water. Why won't she come ashore? Or if she's my mother, are you... Are you my father? I have the honor, Moira. I do. But you've always known, I'm sure. Go down to her. Go on now. Why won't she come ashore? She doesn't trust me not to keep her. To walk on the dry sand, they take off their skins. They don't like to risk it. Off you go. What happened between you? The year we spent together was the finest year I've lived. She sang me a song, Moira. A song so beautiful that you wouldn't believe. You were that song. How is that possible? We're all born from salt water one way or the other. You'll be fine. You'll see. Goodbye, little one. Don't be afraid. So mum's a selkie? Don't worry. I'll always be here. Oh. Go down to her. He's calling. Yep, it is, but I'm kind of stuck on terrain in this touching family moment. There you go now. I can feel myself opening out. We Uncle H says happens when you dump an oyster in a bucket of seawater. These holes are awash with stories. Some forgotten, some true, some beautiful and some cruel. That's what happens when people tarry a long while. Their stories seep into the soil, into the water. They float up into the air. They're sung even by the empty hills. We carry them with us wherever we go. God be with thee, Moira, in every pass, each step of the journey thou goest.
Okay, so it looks like Moira and her mum are selkies, which are creatures that live in the sea and to come onto land they have to take the skins off. That was amazing. I had no idea that was the ending. Um, there are a few walkthroughs on YouTube, but I have never seen anyone get to the lighthouse before Beltane. Uh, or even on Beltane. It's kind of crazy there. So there are several ways through the Scottish Highlands. There's actually quite a few little stories and things that we missed because we were absolutely belting through the mountains, just not stopping to take names or anything. So I'm sure what you would normally do is do a single playthrough and just explore and find all the interesting stuff that's around. And then the second playthrough would be Race to the Lighthouse, but we just did Race to the Lighthouse. So thank you for joining me in this. It's been absolutely amazing. It's lovely, lovely game. Absolutely love it. And once your mind is attuned to having to find maps to move on to the next area of, of the game, the next kind of level in, uh, in depth, then the game's not actually that difficult. Not as difficult as I imagined it would be. So that's great. Uh, if you got to this point in the video, definitely definitely leave a little like. Leave a subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Tune in for more and varied videos and I'll tell you what, I'll catch you next time.